What's going on, everybody? David Delano, one of the writers and handicappers with Winners and Winers. Make sure to subscribe to this channel on YouTube if you have not already. That way you'll be notified anytime there's a video dropped by Mason Foltz, myself, Scott Reichel, or Arthur Reyes, and we each drop them daily. Also, Loud s uh, is going to be having some videos, I believe, coming up pretty soon for the XFL. So make sure to stay tuned to this channel for free content. Looking for more free content? Check out statsalt.com and the Winners and Winers page. Free predictions and articles on every game every day. Looking for the best stuff from each expert, at least the picks that we feel the most confident in. Go ahead and um, check out the premium picks. There's a link in the description for 60% off. Uh, throughout 365 days, throughout all the different sports, uh, different people may have the juice at different times. There's going to be hot streaks. There's going to be cold streaks. Some people may be performing at better sports than others. So you can check the leaderboard. You can check the recent results. You can check the long-term results and see who um, you want to jump on board with or just continue to join these videos each day. Appreciate you watching. If you could smash that um, like button, I would really, really appreciate it. Want to get these videos out a little bit earlier, although our last couple of videos have been on the um, have been on the NBA, which is tough to do an NBA video overnight. So this is pick here is going to be in the college basketball realm. I'm posting this before the results for Tuesday, but like I said, check out the Winners and Winners site. It'll show you exactly how I did yesterday. Now um, I'm going to go with the UMass Lowell and Bryant game, and I'm going to go over 155 and a half. So I'm not making this a best bet. I um, have been seeing some of these teams who have been playing higher totals the second time around play some lower scoring games. And one thing with totals, you know, you you can get a, some teams that usually play under. One team gets hot from three, has a nice shooting night, or you see some fouls late, and there goes your under. With the over, you know, teams, it's basketball. So there's going to be a few games a year where teams that even shoot the ball well just aren't going to have it and things can happen that's why it is um at the end of the day they call it gambling but i do like the over 155 and a half here the first time these teams played january 22nd umass lowell won 98 to 79 there was 88 points scored in the first half 89 in the second half so overall just consistent scoring you've got a bryant team here that's 15th in the nation averaging just under 82 points per game. They're top 95 in field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and free throw percentage. On the other side, um, UMass Lowell is averaging just under 78 points per game. They're in the top 35 in field goal and three-point percentage, also in the top half from the charity stripe. And I think that we're going to see a lot of opportunities in this game. Um, Bryant is seventh in the nation in adjusted tempo. And um, when it comes to adjusted efficiency, their offense is about 100 slots better than their defense is. And on the other side with um, UMass Lowell, they're 97th in pace. So we've got two teams that perform well offensively. They both shoot the ball well. They play fast. If we get a close game, these teams are going to keep playing fast because that's in their nature. should see some uh, free throws. If one team falls behind, we're going to see the other one fighting and still pushing the pace. So... At the end of the day, some of these games are going to go over. Some of these games are going to go under. It's just about finding the right ones. And even though the total is high here, I wouldn't be surprised even if it drops a little bit just because the total is so high. But I'm not uh, too worried about it. If it does, I like over 155 and a half points in this one. I think that these teams are going to get to um, probably at least 159 in this game. So over UMass Lowell and Bryant. God bless everybody. Good luck on whatever you're playing.